for which vectors b1 b2 b3 uh, do these systems have a solution okay this is similar to the one we did before um, if we look at the first system uh, we could see that not one column is a multiple of the other column uh, they're all different um, so therefore the column space for this one so uh, basically any values uh, of B the system will have a solution because you could see from the third row x3 equal b3 and give any value to b3 uh, that will give a value to b2 in a, which in of itself will give a value to b1 so basically uh, any value of b uh, the system will have a solution and therefore um, the uh, column space is r3 uh, so for this first system here uh, column space is R3 just making sure it's recording and uh, uh, B could be anything B equals C anything okay for the second system let's do it here uh, notice here that the third row is zero uh, if the third row is zero that immediately tells you that b3 has to equal zero uh, so um, so if b3 equals zero the system has a solution only for b3 equals zero so that's the condition and for the third one uh, let's do the third one here okay uh, this third one uh, we notice that um, the last two rows are the exact same thing uh, which means uh, technically b3 has to equal b2 uh, and if you want to really work it out uh, you could uh, uh, rewrite row 3 uh, as uh, row 3 as uh, minus row 2 plus row 3 so the matrix becomes 1 1 1 uh, x1 x2 x3 uh, okay, zero. Oh, this is gonna close on me. Okay, have it fixed. So, uh, uh, zero, zero, one, x two, and here we have B one, B two. And uh, I will get here 0, 0 from that row operation. Uh, minus 1 plus 1 is 0. X3, and this will get me uh, B3 minus B2, or minus B2 plus B3. And uh, we can easily see that uh, the last one has to equal zero so minus b2 plus b3 equals zero which makes b2 equal b3 so the system has a solution for b2 equals b3